So you want to offer email marketing as a service, but you're not sure what that actually entails. Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how to do email marketing for clients so that you can go out into the marketplace, charge high prices and grow your agency. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna sketch through this together and I'm gonna take you through every single step. We're gonna leave no stone unturned when it comes to actually delivering email marketing as a service for your clients, okay? So, you know the drill, we're gonna minimize my face, we're gonna get the pen out here, and we're gonna crack on, all right? So step one is understanding the importance of email, okay? So step one, email. We're gonna write this out. We're gonna, we're gonna go into why, okay? So this video is gonna cover why email marketing is important for e-commerce brands. Now, your average e-com brand will use email marketing to drive anywhere between 20 to 30% sometimes more, sometimes less, of their monthly recurring revenue from email, okay? Email still remains one of the highest rev revenue generating channels for any e-commerce brand, regardless of niche or vertical, okay? So if you find a brand that's not uh, at, at current generating 20 to 30% of their monthly recurring revenue from email, then you can help them, okay? I'm gonna change the pen there. So this is when we get to step two, okay? So step two is software, all right? So when it comes to the software, maybe you found a client who wants to make more money from email, but in order to actually help that client make more money from email, they're gonna need a tool, they're gonna need a software that will enable them to physically send emails to their customers, okay? So without hesitation, the only software you need to concern yourself with and learn is Klaviyo. Okay, Klaviyo is hands down the industry leader. Klaviyo has a nine billion valuation and is the ESP, so the email service provider, that every single brand, regardless of where they operate or what language they communicate in or what products they sell, should be using in order to future-proof their businesses. Okay, so it will help your clients get the most out of email and it will help them benefit from better automations, segmentation, design, and all of the other technical and testing features that you can implement within Klaviyo, okay? So once we have frankly seen the need, we've selected our ESP, our tool that we're gonna deliver the service, step three is the setup, okay? And specifically, what we're referring to here is the technical setup, the technical backend, okay? So when doing email marketing for clients, you're gonna to have to make sure that everything on the technical side of setup for their ESP and for their email infrastructure is done correctly, okay? Proper email infrastructure is crucial to avoid spam, so avoid spam filters, and it's going to include, uh, include key inputs um, such as uh, domain authentication and making sure that everything is correctly set up from a uh, deliverability point of view, okay? So spam, domains, and then deliverability. Deliverability, okay? So we've got our uh, clients, we've seen, we've seen there's a need, we've selected our ESP, we've talked about setting it up. Now, when you're actually delivering email marketing services, where do we go from here, okay? So step four is what we refer to as list building strategies, okay? So when doing email marketing for clients, a large share of your responsibility is focused on how many new list subscribers you're able to bring the brand. Okay, so people subscribe to email lists when they search for a product, visit a website or a landing page, they come across an offer on that page, and then that offer entices them to enter their contact details, such as their email address, in return for something of value, okay? So typically this might be a discount, you know, um, join the newsletter, you'll get 5% off, whatever it might be, there's a million and one different um, offers that you can have to entice you know, website visitors to then become uh, and convert into uh, list subscribers, but this is a, a core fundamental of the service that you are delivering, okay? So your time when it comes to list building will be spent on creating high converting pop-ups, so whether you like pop-ups or not, you have to put that personal biases aside, um, and what these pop-ups are gonna have are strong offers um, with optimized timing and multi-step sequences that will basically grow your brand's email list or your client brand's email list, okay? Which then brings us on as part of what you're delivering as a service 
to step five, which is design. Okay, so when it comes to delivering email as a service, a large part of that service is going to be the design work that you do for the clients. Okay, so when it comes to design, what this constitutes is creating well structured, visually appealing emails with strong CTAs uh, that are built to global e commerce design best practices. Okay, so such emails might include social proof in the form of um, you know reviews and testimonials whatever it might be they'll have clear messaging so they'll be clear they'll improve engagement uh, and conversion rates and they'll basically create a high frequency of placed orders for your client okay so it's very simple so far all right we've only got a couple of steps to get through uh, but hopefully this video is just breaking down in really simple terms what it means to actually deliver email marketing as a service okay so step six, once you've gone over design and all of those other inputs we've talked about, are the flows. Flows. Okay, so a large share, the lion's share really of what you're doing for your clients when it comes to email marketing is making sure that they have automations in place. Okay, so inside Clavio, these flows are called automations. And these automations can loosely be categorized into two kind of buckets all right basic flows and advanced advanced so key flows that you will be building out for your um, clients and optimizing for your clients are going to include the welcome series that nurture new list subscribers you know those individuals who have um, signed up through their pop-up forms it's going to include abandoned cart flows that recovers um, revenue from potential customers that have added products into their carts and then gone off, made a cup of tea and forgot about their purchase, they've abandoned their cart. It's going to include post-purchase flows, win-back flows, as well as a range of other automations and flows that integrate with third-party tools um, that simply help the brand sell uh, more product, okay? So these tools might include for UGC, reviews.io, uh, it might be for subscription billing, like recharge, whatever it might be. It's going to be your responsibility to make sure that these are built out for your clients and optimized in order to generate their more and more revenue from email, okay? So once you've looked at the flows, another share of what you're delivering when you're providing email marketing services, and this is something you should know by now, are campaigns, okay? So campaigns are one-off email sends. Oftentimes you'll come across brands that refer to them as email blasts, which is not a good thing from a deliverability standpoint. Um, but alongside the work you'll be doing with the flows, as a general rule of thumb when it comes to campaigns, you will be delivering 80% campaigns that include evergreen content, such as uh, educational you know, information, product comparisons, or social proof, whatever it might be, and then 20% promotional. Okay, so we'll just put info for the 80 and the 20, we'll put promo. Okay, so, so you don't want to uh, use Klaviyo with your client's account or go into their Klaviyo account and blast all of their, their list subscribers with single product promos or multi-product promos time and time again because it will hemorrhage your deliverability and it will just basically end up, you'll end up, the brand will end up with a pool of just a hugely unengaged audience, okay? And that's not what we want, all right? So this will basically, this 80-20 split, will enable the brand to have a, a healthy balance of sales whilst keeping an engaged email list. All right, so we've got two more points to go over. Now, step eight is segmentation, okay? And in brackets, deliverability. I'm gonna have to... Uh, Apologize for my terrible writing here, right? So now in order to make sure that the right people see the right messaging at the right time, what you'll be doing for your clients, what you'll be responsible for too, is their segmentation strategy, okay? And this is really going to play into the overall deliverability, um, you know, within their Clavio account for that brand, okay? So when it comes to segmentation, you're gonna be responsible for creating dynamic email lists where you can create pools of customers that share common attributes that you can leverage when sending emails, okay? So in Clavio, these kind of um, pools of contacts are broken down into lists, which are static, and segments, which are dynamic, okay? And what that means is that if somebody joins a welcome offer to get a, a promo code, they've joined a list, uh, they've um, overtly signed up to receive that, 
um, when it comes to segments, what the people move in and out of segments. Okay, so it might be um, based on specific attributes or times that they purchase. You know, within the last 30 days or 60 days, whatever it might be, people naturally move in. The size of um, segments, you know, uh, uh, grows and constricts. Okay, over time. So you might be creating segments for VIP customers. Um, you might be creating segments based on colors or products that they bought, or whatever it might be. But in all cases, what you're doing is you're helping them optimize deliverability. You're helping the brand optimize the de deliverability. And you're basically avoiding sending too many emails to inactive users and people who aren't going to engage with them. Okay, and that's not what you want. So swiftly moving on, step nine, when it comes to actually delivering the service of email marketing, is copywriting. And that's what I'm doing in every part of this video. I'm breaking down in just super granular, nuts and bolts, um, really simple kind of reductionist um, explanation here, every element that you're going to be delivering for your clients. Okay, so if you've got questions of do I do flows, do I do campaigns or pop-ups, what about segmentation, what about migration, this is a video that's going to help you. Okay, so step nine is copywriting and persuasion. All right, so here comes the physical content of the emails that you're sending for your client and Email should really incorporate psychological triggers like social proof, um, you know, things that build authority in order to maximize conversions and order events, okay, placed order events. So it's your responsibility as the email service provider to make sure that the messaging is relevant, that it's on brand, um, and that it leads to the desired outcome for that email, okay? And nine times out of 10, that's gonna be buying more product, okay? Increasing the top line for the client that you're working with. Which brings us on to the final component of what you'll be delivering as an email marketer for your e-commerce brand is testing. Okay, so A-B testing and then kind of wider uh, optimization. Optimization. Okay, so not only will you be doing the physical hands-on or your team will be doing such as writing copy, creating design, setting up segments, you're also going to be continually testing and tweaking and optimizing your client's Klaviyo account in order and really just uh, to, to kind of um, push continuous improvement and higher revenue per email, okay? So you might A-B test subject lines or timings, so send times, whatever it might be, or designs, design formats, whatever it might be. There's a number of different ways that you can test within your client's Klaviyo account, but all of these tests will be something that you leverage frankly, in order just to increase placed order values and attract customers with higher LTVs, all right? So guys, what I've done in this video is given you a super, super simple timeline, a sequential timeline and a breakdown of everything that you need to do when you close your next e-commerce client, okay? And all of these foundations here of email marketing as a service that you're delivering, all of these can be used at different parts in your sales cycle, okay? Whether you're delivering upfront builds or whether you are selling retainer services or you're trying to downsell campaign management, go back through this video and go through every component here to look at the opportunities um, that you can leverage to pitch to your clients, okay? So the work that you do as an email marketer is gonna be varied. It's spread across all of these core inputs that I've talked about in this video but they all contribute to the same goal, okay? And that's to increase the amount of money that your clients are generating every single month from email, all right? Simple, okay? So if you found this video helpful, um, please consider subscribing. Turn the notification bell on so um, when I release another video like this, going over all the back office systems that, that we've built out and use within our email agency, um, you're gonna get a notification to, to do so. Drop me a comment below if you've got any questions about any component of this timeline and I will catch you in the next one. All right, cheers.